What is going on guys, Gabacito here, and today I am bringing you a Kogma mid commentary, and this is a ranked game, as usual, when I upload commentaries, it's always ranked, and if you're new to the channel, this is uh, around Platinum ELO, and I am Platinum 4 uh, at this point, actually, and I'm playing Kogma mid, which is a an extremely good poke champion, a lot of people uh, tend to forget this amazing mid laner, or actually it's been brought up lately, or recently. Uh, a lot of people have started playing Kogma mid. Uh, not as much as people playing Victor. I mean, everyone is playing Victor. Like, there's no games without Victor. It's so annoying. Uh, I'm just betting that champion all the time now. Uh, but Kogma mid is a great pick as well. Uh, but in lane, you want to farm. Uh, hard because uh, you can't get kills look at this show is almost gonna kill me here But I'm gonna use my barrier and Look at that health. It's it goes down to around nine health And but I still managed to get out So what do you want to do with Kogma in lane is just farm farm early don't try to go for kills well if you can't get a kill and your jungler comes then of course you can get that kill as you're gonna see here I'm gonna roam and get a kill that is something you don't want to do that often either but because uh, roaming with Kogma isn't that efficient since he has no gap closers no um, well he's, he's just a poke champion he has no CC or gap closers or anything so he's not good for ganking but in lane you're just gonna be farming try to get as much farm as you can he's got really good uh, push with his E and uh, ultimate but late game is where he shines. He just pokes down the enemies so hard. And you're gonna see this. We're actually losing the early game. And we're five and nine, and it kinda looks bad at this point. A lot of uh, my teammates uh, wanna surrender. But I never surrender. It's stupid to surrender. You can always turn the games. So, Kogma, you wanna get tier of the goddess as early as possible, around uh, level five, maybe, once you got gold for that. I had to go back base because he almost killed me um, and I managed to get uh, a tier uh, so just farm up for that tier and then you want to keep uh, stacking it as much as possible and then uh, you want to get blue buffs if your jungler can give you that it's really important um, most in lane it's gonna be used for pushing uh, because you're not gonna get many kills in lane um, or any at all, but it's really good for being able to just push all the time with your E and ultimate and everything I'm not gonna get any blues actually this game until like 30 minutes or something I don't know it takes a lot of time before I start getting blues and Jinx is gonna get caught here you know so stupid like I don't know what she's doing but I'm gonna try to not get mad everyone is thinking that the game is lost uh, we do have 7 kills, and uh, they got 16 kills, so they're way ahead. Uh, we have no turrets, and it looks pretty bad. They're getting her second mid turret right now. Um, <clears throat> but Lucian is going to get caught here. And we're going to try to chase him down. I thought he would run that other, other way. Uh, he's going to dodge my, um, my ultimate, and then he's going to flash. So, you know, even in that situation, like, we were 100% sure that we were going to get that kill teleports were coming in and everything he gets away and instead our Skarner gets killed and this is this guy is new at Skarner top by the way um, he just played it because he thought it was fun he said that okay I play League of Legends for fun so I'm just gonna pick Skarner and he got wrecked so it's kind of sad when you do that in ranked I still think Leona is gonna go boss deep use her ultimate flash in I think she might have not used flash but it's not that worth it because Jinx is going to get a kill with their ultimate and Warwick is going to get a kill as well. So we're kind of slowly getting back to the game. I mean 9 and 18. It's it's not it's not going anywhere f at any speed but um, that was still a little bit of a throw for them. And they're going to get one more kill. They're going to flash in. Like Leona going to flash ult again. I was completely safe there. But Leona is going to flash ult. Use your gap closer, get me, everyone is gonna go after. And look at this, I always max my Q on Cho'Gath, so I totally thought that Jinx would die there. But look at that, he just got away, so beautiful. And this is probably the biggest throw they did, going this deep. 
Uh, Jinx is gonna get a bunch of kills. They're gonna go for Warwick, even if he's full health. Jace is gonna use her ultimate. He's, uh, Warwick is gonna get, be able to get a triple kill. Unfortunately, he's not gonna get killed this Lucian. But it's still a great, like, small victory for us. Uh, and they're gonna make a play down there as well and get that um, Vladimir. Um, I spe speeded that part up, but uh, Thresh did a beautiful lantern and that saved Jinx. I'm sorry for not showing that, but Leona's gonna go balls deep again. Look at that, she just wants to kill me so badly. Uh, but she's got no one to follow up, so I'm just gonna be able to uh, slowly kill this guy with Skarner and Jace is gonna use her ult. He's gonna flash over, beautiful play. This Thresh does some pretty good plays. Um, I th I'd say that the biggest factors of us actually winning this game, spoiler alert, because we will win. Um, I wouldn't upload a lose, guys. I mean, it's a spoiler, but I wouldn't upload a defeat. Um, so it's kind of obvious that we win. Um, but, I mean, G Thresh hooks and my damage kind of won this game. And all my teammates are kind of feeding. Uh, but I still managed to not die that much. I'm not getting many kills, but I mean, th that's not the point of Kogma. You're supposed to farm. Just get all that farm, uh, stack up your tier, whatever. Um, and on Kogma, late game, once you get your th uh, second, like a big power spike on Kogma is the second level on the ult. When you get level 11, because then it gets increased range and it's really good for poking. And that's about the time where you will have your Ludens Echo, which is also, Lucian's gonna get caught here by the way, like he keeps doing these mistakes, There's they get so confident that they have the victory, that they just keep, uh, you know, picking bad fights, thinking that, okay, we're so ahead, we can just fight anything, uh, Lucian goes for frontline, uh, I get all my damage on him, and Warwick comes in for the ult, so it's a big throw, uh, that that play was like now they're realizing that we can actually turn this game because they just got Baron right they have they we did manage to get the first dragon but I think they have one or two as well and they got Baron so they're super confident that they can just win Lucian comes rushing mid we're just deleting him basically and it's still kind of hard for us to contest dragon because they're still a little bit ahead so we're gonna have to defend unfortunately French is gonna miss that hook uh, but it's gonna be okay. So I was talking about the power spikes on Kogma and the reason why to play him. So the big power spike is level 2 ult, as I said, because you get a lot of range on it. And it's really good for poking. And Kogma's ult actually does... It doesn't do... Oh, look at that hook. Oh my god, I just have to take a moment to, uh, to just embrace that hook. That was amazing. Mid... Uh, Gap closer, Lucian E or whatever it is, like his uh, dash move, and he hooked him so beautiful. Uh, but but as I was talking about his ult, uh, the reason why you play Kagma is because of the ult range. I mean, it does really good damage once you're building AP, of course. But it's it does a fair amount of damage. But these items, these new items, um, realize Crystal Scepter is not a new item, but it, it's got kind of buffed, so it's even better. And uh, Ludens Echo as well. It makes like it makes Kogma's ultimate a an extra way to like look at that. It doesn't do that much damage to Leona that right there, but once you get that realize Crystal Scepter, it's gonna be a slow and a Ludens Echo proc. And it's got like the biggest poke range in the game. It's incredible. I mean, you don't. It's not just for the ultimate damage, but all the items that you get on Kogma, it fits him so well. I mean, Ludens Echo, it's like made for him because. And Realize Crystal Scepter. I mean, these on hit spell effects abilities, or uh, I mean, items like Realize Crystal Scepter and Ludens Echo. I mean, it procs all those things at a very, very, very high range. Uh, so it's it's good like that too. Um, your poke gets even better because you can hit your ultimate on one target and the Ludus Echo is gonna jump to other people. And when you get that realized Crystal Scepter, you can basically safely catch people 
from a distance uh, and get kills. For example, if I hit my ultimate on the AD carry, uh, I can safely hit him pretty easily because my range on the ultimate is great. I can hit him with my ult, he's slowed, and I can keep hitting him with my ults uh, over and over because of the really short cooldown as well. So he's gonna get perma slowed. Like, and the slow on that item, it's pretty good uh, now. And they're just gonna get perma slowed. I mean, there's not much they can do about it. And you're standing there safely at a long range in the back line, just shooting your ults. You don't have to commit anything. Like, when you try to catch someone, you have to actually make a risk with most champions. Like, and usually you have to commit to that stuff in the jungle uh, if you want to catch people. But with Kama, you can just stand and shoot your ults and. Like, you're so safe, you can just stand back and shoot them. And uh, we can actually end the game here, we're thinking. Uh, but instead, Skarner starts pulling people into the team. And we're gonna get killed. Because Vladimir does a lot of damage. They're flaming him, saying that he sucks. But I'm gonna get my realized Crystal Scepter right there, by the way. But they're flaming him, still he manages to do a lot of damage. So it's still scary, I mean, we kind of threw um, the ending there as well. And we think that we just caught Cho'Gath here. Leona is going to come, he's going to stun me, Cho'Gath is going to turn, he's going to use his Q, or he's going to use his W, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get wrecked by the uh, the Q. And Skarner should run here, because it's pretty obvious that someone is going to come. Uh, and Lucian comes and kills him over the wall. <laughs> so we are kind of throwing a little bit too I mean they started throwing but we could have almost ended there and I'm getting a little bit worried still that they can that they can win the game now uh, but we're all gonna group up mid for some siege because that's what we need to do we, we need to go mid and poke them down like I can do so much damage from afar and just split the enemy team up and then once they're low, I mean, we have Jinx as well. I thought that Jinx, our Jinx wasn't that good because she got caught and she played pretty bad. Look at that, Warwick's going to get killed as well. I tell him not to get caught because I was doing blue. And there's no reason to go. Still, he went. We could have just let that dragon. I mean, we got two dragons. It's not like they're getting their fifth dragon or anything. So, uh, we should have just let that dragon. Or he shouldn't have gotten caught, at least. But we're going to find... Uh, Leona here in the jungle and look at that. I can just stand from afar throw my ults doesn't I have to do like I don't have to do anything look at this I slow Lucian. I can just keep uh, He's gonna go in and uh, dodge a little bit, but uh, they're going for Baron here and I mean they can we're thinking like oh, I'm thinking at this point like freaking hell where we got caught they got Baron uh, You know he's gonna die here. They're gonna win another fight this doesn't look too good. Uh, I'm almost gonna get killed there too. Um, but I'm gonna use my E. And I'm gonna get safely out of there. But we got a lot of poke with Jinx. We should just... Jinx and Kog'Maw. Uh, we should just group up mid. And try to siege. Just poke as much as possible. Get someone low. And then engage when we can. Or just keep poking them to death. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking that it's lost because we keep getting caught. They got Baron, but now we're grouped. We're five people. We're gonna find Shogath here. I'm just gonna try to do a little bit of poke. It's gonna be risky. I could have gotten hit there by that Leona ultimate. Look at this DPS. Me and Jinx managed to get. They're all grouped up. Uh, fortunately, Illusion is gonna be able to flash and heal away from there. But this free DPS that me and Jinx can pull off, it's amazing that they're not focusing us. Uh, they don't have enough people that can assassinate us. I mean, their champions are way too slow and tanky and just, you know, Vladimir has no engage. So if they had something like Akali, this game would have been lost. Uh, I picked Akali once against uh, someone who picked Kog'Ma mid. And it's I think it's one of the best picks because you can just, you just assassinate him and he can't do anything and then the game is lost um, you just need someone to be able to assassinate like that but they have no champions like that so we could just get um, actually Rek'Sai is pretty good at that um, but they don't have many 
champions to do that stuff. So we're going to be able to do a lot of free DPS from the backline. And we are going to get some nice kills here. They're overextending. They still got the inhibitor, I think. <clears throat> Did they? I don't know. But we got no Baron to do. And I think they are... Uh, we actually get the inhibitor here. And I think... Actually, two inhibitors. And I think it's getting close to them getting the fifth dragon. Or they have four dragons right now. And dragon is spawning. So they're going to get the fifth dragon. If they win this. And when they get that, it's... It's tough. I mean, fifth dragon is great. But look at this. This is the mistake they make. They group up instead of... I mean, they should have fought. They shouldn't have gone for the dragon. Look at this. Me and Jinx manages to get so much free DPS. And there's, like, no one even trying to focus us. We got full HP. We didn't even get touched by anyone in the enemy team. And that is going to be the victory, of course. Uh, so poke compositions can be really strong. And never give up ranked games. Because you can always turn. So, peace!